time is inevitable. Today I'm going to talk about the car, and not just any car, but a super sports car, which have made into the walls of countless petrol heads as their dream car, including mine. Now the Lamborghini Huracan advances towards its twilight years and just like time has its own story to tell and today I'm going to fulfill my quest of experiencing time like never before. Time, a four little alphabet word, is the most expensive and underestimated thing on the planet. When spent wisely in good company can be a blessing for you can cherish for the rest of your life. Before we bid goodbye to the last of his kind and before the Lamborghinis are completely electrocuted, let's say a warm hello to the Lamborghini Huracan STO. This isn't a car meant for streets. It's actually a trace car, which is made road legal with a number plate on it. Even though I'm trying to calm myself down, but the howl of a V10 5.2 litre engine that actually powers the Huracan Evo uh, at the same 630 horses, but the reduced 565 litre meter of torque is what this is powered. Of course, it's reduced, but the real kicker is that it's a rear wheel drive, and I have to really shout and scream at the top of my voice because the sound is really right on your ears. And of course, you don't complain that. It's one machine that you can be driving all day, all night. It's time to put the trophy mode on and there we are. And I can see a lot of changes on the screen in front of me because everything changes with the trophy mode on. The dual clutch is so refined, so refined. It's so much better and sharper and finer than the sequential Aventador's SVJ. It really knows what it's doing. Just for curiosity, if you want to check out the Lamborghini Huracan Evo RWD, which I drove some months back, click on the pop-up icon on somewhere on the top. Oh, this is... At the corners, this will just not leave the corners. This is a car. You can take it anywhere, on the road, on the track. This feels so much at home. And even after four laps, it is just telling me that continue driving. I have much more to give you. Yeah, this is it. You can just drift. You can just slide the way you want to slide, drive this car. This has all the controls, all the controls that you need. Yes, the steering is precise, just precise to the last needle and even a simple turn gives that complete command of your all the four steerings. It's a very, very agile. The STO is a very agile car. And the steering is so much, so much articulate, so much mannerisms it has. And one small mistake, you will find yourself sitting on those benches, maybe on the tree, oh, wait. Maybe nowhere because you might not find yourself. With each lap, my trepidations and butterflies have fallen back and my heartbeat slows. Even though my laps are getting faster, I'm speechless at the moment with this addiction of adrenal pumping speed. We're heading back to the pit, not to change tires, of course, but that's what time you get with the SEO. Yes, but whatever time you've got, it's a time that you have to enjoy it with the time because this time is not going to come back very soon, very fast. The Huracan STO was never going to bargain with the price tag of 4.99 crores ex showroom. With the sun setting down and the dark night approaching, I felt that the speed of time is touching 100 km in 3 seconds. It's time to celebrate and appreciate the machinery and engineering of the internal combustion engines giving us the best of our time. Lamborghini, like everyone, is now headed down the path towards total electrification and the time is ticking for that.